guys, Auto Fanatic. I'm just going to shoot a quick video. Uh, we went riding this morning and I got what I feel is the best bike carrier you're going to buy on the market. And I'm uh, just going to give you a quick video. I mean, there's tons of videos of this particular rack online, but I'm, you know, like I said, there may be guys that, you know, are on my channel that never bought a bike rack. They're looking for their first bike rack. They want to spend, you know, the right money. They want to get the best. Uh, I feel this one's the best. This is made by a company in Wisconsin called One Up USA. Uh, as far as bike racks, when we put the hitch on this car, I bought three different versions of the Thule. I bought the Kuat. I bought the Yakima. I bought the Saris Freedom. I tried them all out. I sent them all back or I sold them back on eBay. Uh, like I said, there's just certain things about those other brands that I don't like. Too many plastic parts, stamped steel. I feel they're overpriced and they're not as well engineered as this. This is made out of billet aluminum, hard anodized, hard coat on everything, and stainless steel hardware throughout so it won't rest. So let me just show you guys how to. Alright, guys, I got the camera off the tripod. I'm just going to show you some of the construction here. I mean, you have solid billet aluminum, stainless steel countersunk screws. I mean, just the construction of this thing, it is overbuilt and it will most likely outlast your car and the actual bikes you're carrying on there. So the way this works, uh, if you see here, this is a machined aluminum channel that's solid. This is not hollow. This is not stamped. And the tire of the bike, as you can see, fits in there. These are both 29 inch uh, tires. This bike here is a lot fatter. They call this the fat tire bike. And uh, so the tire sits in here and then you use this lever here to positively lock all along this gradient lock mechanism the wheel anchors like I'm showing you here. And this is fully adjustable so you could adjust all of this and everything here is machined aluminum and you could adjust for different sizes whether it's a 29 inch, 26, children's bike, whatever and it positively locks onto the tire like I'm showing you. and it's not going anywhere so the one thing I want to show you guys you know this little movement that's with every single bike carrier and that's what you need otherwise if this thing was rigidly mounted and it didn't move when you hit a pothole in New York it's most likely gonna snap but uh, I'm gonna show you so now you can connect four of these and the way they're connected down here they use a security Allen head bolt. This is machined with a slot. So you install one, the first carrier onto the car, and then you could adjust the second one. And then these little caps come off, and you could do up to four of these on the back of your SUV. And it also has a universal hitch design uh, that you could use it on a standard receiver and up to the larger receivers that come on pickup trucks and uh, larger trucks. So I'm going to break this down. I'm going to get the bikes off right now. And I'm going to show you how this thing comes apart and uh, stows easily for storage. All right, so I'm just going to show you guys how you get the bikes off here. So you pretty much, you're going to push towards the rear. And then you're going to release it just like that. You're going to do this on both sides. So you're going to push like I show you. And then you get your bike off the carrier. So it's super easy. You could do it by yourself. Uh, so then no when you get the bike off, take the rails down like that, and then go over to the next one. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how this thing goes all together. It gives you a hex security key here that this is proprietary to this type of a rack and from this vendor. And uh, you cannot get replacements unless you prove that you are a customer. If you bought this used, there's a good chance that they are not going to sell it to you. So we're going to get the secondary rack off first. I'm just going to break the two bolts loose like I show you. Just enough so you could slide it through the notches. You can hear the birds are having a fun time today chirping. Okay, so we're pretty much we're pretty much loose. Okay, you see how that that moves? Let me just put the key aside. Pull the camera back. Zoom it out.
Okay, so once you loosen up those two bolts, slide it out, and it's off the car. All right, so this is the secondary part of the carrier off the car. It's got these little billet aluminum tabs here in blue. You slide them out, and then the rack pretty much folds together like this. Slide them back down, and you got your storage box. Made in the USA, as they show you. See that? And then, as you guys can see, fits into the nice box for storage. You don't have to have this thing laying around your garage. That's another thing that the, a lot of the other companies on the market, they don't give you the fold down and storage capability that this one does um, for the season. You can just stack this thing up, keep it in your basement, put it on the shelf in your garage, and it's good to go. It's not gonna get scratched up uh, by leaving it in the box. So let me uh, move the camera over and I'm gonna show you how to get the main carrier off and show you a little bit about the locking mechanism. All right, we're over at the rack where it goes into the hitch receiver. There's a piece of billet aluminum, which is like a collar spacer. So every time you install this on any car, it makes sense to set this up from your length in and out so your pedals on your bike don't hit your back bumper and you can actually get access to the trunk. So you always want to set this up so if for repeatability, you just pull it out of the box, slide it into the receiver, lock it in, and you're done. Let me show you how the lock mechanism all right, so this is the stainless steel security screw and how you attach and detach the 1UP USA bike rack from your hitch receiver. Stainless steel, it's got a threaded mechanism with a ball that actually, as you tighten it, the ball pushes out and creates a tight, solid seal and a fit, like a, like a very tight fit inside the hitch receiver, unlike other bike racks that are on the market. This is pretty unique. And this is all nicely welded. You could see it with the black hearted anodized hard coat. And that's it. And then you pretty much just pull it back like that. And you're off the car. There's a stainless steel ball in there that as you tighten that screw, that security screw, it comes out and it creates a positive lock. This is all solid, inch and a quarter billet aluminum all the way through, nicely welded throughout the base. And same thing, you got the blue tabs on both ends to fold it up. And then on this end, you could adjust, you can see the notches. Let me just flip this around. So you loosen this up here. And then by doing that, you could raise and lower the angle that it's mounted between hitting the floor uh, on your car and whatnot. And then also when you fold it up, you're gonna wanna pull it back like this, close it up and it goes right back into the box. So that's it guys, the One Up USA bike rack, I feel is the best one on the market. Uh, to get two of them, to put two bikes is about $600 with the shipping. Uh, I'll put a link to One Up USA, uh, you could buy it direct. They're not selling these on Amazon. Uh, and some of the premier bike shops around the country do offer them and they do have them in stock. But I feel these are better than uh, the Kuat, the Akima, and the Thule units that I bought and tried all of them. So, autofanaticyahoo.com. Take care. See you guys soon.